What's up everyone, I'm Maximilian, and welcome to the first of many videos covering news breakdowns for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So first off, here's a quick recap of things you might already know, but let's cover this stuff just to be sure. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is going to debut on November 15th, 2011 and is going to cost $39.99. It's also going to have 50 total characters, a ton of balance changes, overall the entire system is going to be balanced and tweaked, with many new modes and even the online spectator mode that everyone's been hoping for since the previous Marvel vs. Capcom. There's been four officially confirmed characters, and that's Ghost Rider, Hawkeye, Firebrand, and dun da 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 Strider Hero. It's absolutely amazing that he's in the game, and I am just as excited as you guys are. But I'm not going to talk about any other characters right now that aren't officially announced. There's also several bonus alternate costume packs that are going to be released if you purchase the game through GameStop, Amazon, and Best Buy. I'm going to give you a sneak preview of these costume packs right now, but they look pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of Wesker's original Stars outfit myself. And holy fucking shit, is that Cyber Akuma? Man, I just got a nostalgia trip. So moving on, let's take a look at some of the aspects of the game that are now different. Right off the bat, you're going to be noticing that the entire interface from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 has been changed. Some of the fonts are different, and they're actually kind of going towards more of the round of what the original logo looked like. This is an interesting change, as some of the stuff doesn't make a lot of sense. Right now, if you have the characters in the foreground, or the characters that are not your main, it's really hard to tell how much life they have. Their life bars are a dark shade of blue, and it's difficult to see if you need to tag them in or not, so I wouldn't be surprised if this gets adjusted down the line. And of course, the next thing that's glaringly different is the X-Factor icon, or the new Dozeki's logo in the middle of the screen. There were plenty of complaints in the original Marvel vs. Capcom 3 that no one could tell if they had X-Factor, or if they needed to use X-Factor. So what they did is they threw giant X's in front of the character's life bars to signify whether your X-Factor was active, or if your X-Factor is coming to the point where it's down to one character left and it begins flashing violently. It seems a little huge and it seems a little obnoxious right now, so this could be changed as well, but it's better than it to be visible than almost not visible at all in the first game. There's been some mixed opinions about the new interface, but I personally like it to be honest. I actually like that the game looks completely different than the first one. It makes you feel like you're having a whole new experience. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Now let's take a look at the first trailer that was released for the game. The beginning of it features several characters from the original Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but if you look closely, there's been some small changes that have been made to all of them. This might look like some plain old regular Ryu Shinku Hadouken, but if you look closely, it actually bounces off the side of the screen. The next one happens pretty quickly, but you actually can see that Magneto got a new special move where he can attract the opponent closer to him. It's also been confirmed that he has more specials where he can actually push the enemy away or bring them back down to the ground. And is that just regular Joe activating mock speed on Wolverine? Nope. If you look closely, it's Joe using the dodge move similar to the beautiful Joe games before. Spencer also received the new death from above move. Can anyone say ambiguous crossover? And Storm now has the ability to push enemies away or bring them closer with a new wind special. There's a brief glimpse of it, but Taskmaster gets a new command grab, and there's gonna be a hell of a lot more, but that's about it from the first trailer and the old characters. It's just interesting to see the existing cast to be beefed up with new moves, even though they might get nerfed in some aspects. But if you take into consideration previous Capcom games when they have a sequel, it's pretty crazy to think that the characters we were playing before are gonna be this dramatically different. Other game-changing observations that were made from these trailers include, X-Factor damage seemed to be toned down, but you can now X-Factor in the air, the complete removal of the DHC glitch, and the left or right aerial exchange will now remove meter from your opponent. Some of this stuff is pretty significant, and probably going to change the way we play in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in the future. But that's going to be just about it for this first video. In the next one, I'm going to focus on the specific characters that were announced for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That includes Ghost Rider, Firebrand, Hawkeye, and Strider. And this might be kind of a glaring spoiler, but Firebrand and Strider are looking damn good. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in part 2 of the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Breakdown. Yeah!